some of these households, they may have uh, young children or elderly people and it's not convenient for them to carry the heavy stuff. So the whole idea was to provide this service for these consumers. And also for parcel delivery service, I think we can see e-commerce itself is, is ever increasing. And due to the pandemic, it's gotten even more serious. Just relying on human hands and legs to do delivery is no longer sustainable. that flexibility for the consumers to be able to choose the time slot where the parcels are delivered to their home is very critical because more than often most of these delivery companies require you to be at home say for like the next two to three hours after you purchase the groceries from the supermarket you will have to bring the goods to the concierge counter based on the time slot you have booked the camelo will be dispatched to deliver your products to where you live upon arrival the robot actually will send a message to the mobile app that the robot has arrived and then what you do is you actually go down to the leaf lobby at the mezzanine floor, use your mobile phone, QR code to scan on the robot, and then the hatch will open. the pandemic struck. That also created a lot of, I would say, anxiety as well as accelerated the whole process because uh, everybody was feeling the need of autonomous delivery was uh, more than critical and urgent in the face of the pandemic. So it came, I would say, timely in a way, helped to mitigate the situation, not just for the delivery part, but for the contactless, for the humanless part.